Holy crap, Taurus. That Virgo reading was wild. Um, so I don't know what's going on with your Virgo friends, but it's crazy. Uh, and if you're dealing with a Virgo or you have any Virgo in your chart, you may want to go check that out. Um, but anywho, how you doing, Taurus? I hope you're well. Um, your Capricornian friends are having a totally different deal than Virgo, which is fine. Um, they are, they had a great reading. So I'm hoping this was a mixed bag tonight. I'm hoping you will break the tie and this will be a real positive reading for you. So, um, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Um, I have a lot of clients with either Taurus suns or, um, Taurus in their chart. So, and I feel like I've been meeting a lot of Tauruses lately. So I really, really want good stuff to come in for you guys. Um, and if I vibe with you as a reader, please check the description box below for um, information on how to book a personal reading with me. We can hook up on Zoom through Everybody in Mind Wellness Center. Um, sorry, I got something in my eye. It's driving me nuts. All right. And what else is there, my beautiful Tauruses? Oh, and if you want a video re response, blah, 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 <laughs> a video response reading, uh, you can check the description box below too. I also read for Wissio. Um, and what else is there? There is the uh, Green Witch Home, which you can check out the link for and use uh, discount code MAMAFAYA. All right, let's just get into it, Taurus. Um, this is going to be a general reading, so it's not anything specific. Just seeing what's coming in for you. Could be love, could be money, could be... Who knows? All right. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space. So what would be? All right. The seer showed herself twice. So I am going to say that you guys have some um, strong psychic gifts. Ooh, Taurus, you're definitely feeling some blockages, though. Um, and it is important that you stand your ground. Uh, but those mountains usually represent blockages to me. Take your time to reflect on what's going on. But that you can trust that you have a strong intuition. Sorry, my eye is driving me crazy. Um, that you have a very strong intuition, Taurus. Um, but it's important that you take the time to meditate. And it, I mean, just there's two cards here of like retreat and recharge and take time to reflect. So it's a very clear message that it's time for you to, you know, develop at least five minutes a day of meditation. Uh, I try and do at least 45 to an hour, but it's like you have to make the time. It's, you know, it's, it's something like the same as working out and same as everything else. Whew, these blockages may need to, like, so I have a feeling that, like, you may be being a little stubborn and holding on to something a little too tightly, and that's what's creating those blockages. So really take the time to reflect on that and use your, your given talents of intuition to figure it out, Taurus, because it does seem like, you know, whenever the peacekeeper comes out, that tells me that, you know, there's something you're missing or that you're holding on to something that you shouldn't be, you know, and um, it's, it's important that you let go of that. And, you know, you may feel like it's the right thing to do, but yeah, you're a master manifester. So looping about anything negative is only going to bring a negative, right? So you want to make sure that you, you know, don't, you keep your, your mind clear, forgive. I'm getting forgive. It's important that you forgive people, Taurus, right now and let go of any past shit because the past stuff isn't helping you at all. And it's important that you um, not focus on that. All right, what else is coming in for my Tauruses? You're a master manifester. I mean, I love this, this magic guardian. Unlock the magic within, which means like you've got to really, um, you know, you can bring to you whatever it is that you need. You've got it in you. Ooh, seven of cups. And I think, I think a lot of that is confusion, maybe too many options, but I think a lot of it is confusion over what the right next move is. Yeah, four of wands, because... It's like, Taurus, you don't feel stable right now, so you don't feel safe. And if you don't feel safe, it, it creates, you know, 
you feeling erratic and make sure that you're not giving into that. Shed light on it so that you can get to the bottom of it instead of just giving into it. Uh, the sun does, and four of wands does to know, um, you know, a lot of happy energy at home, which is nice. So it does seem that you've created a lot of sacred space within your home. You may be in a really happy relationship. Yeah, here we go. Two of cups. Very good, Taurus. Um, you, you know, or this is what you want or that the two of cups and the four of wands energy is what's causing a lot of confusion for you. Uh, that love relationships are causing issues. Oh, the hermit from the other deck wound up in here. That's funny. That's okay. Um, I'll take it because it's important that you meditate on your past relationships. And let me see. And what happened there? Yeah. And it's almost like you holding back is creating a lot of pain for you. So no wonder you're confused because some of the energies here are confusing. Um, you may not be sure which way to go. You may be worried about money and making choices out of a place of fear. Try not to do that, Taurus. Okay, because you are climbing the ladder here. It looks like, you know, you will, it looks like you're really working hard at being successful and I don't want you to give in to the what ifs or the, you know, giving into everything that can go wrong and then bringing that into you, you know? Um, so make sure that you're not focusing on everything that can go wrong. Be prepared though. Yeah. That's with justice here. It's like hope for the best, prepare for the worst, but don't, don't focus on what the worst could be. Queen of Pentacles and Swiftness. Wow. Taurus, um, I think you're going to be meeting someone who really rocks your boat, baby. Um, and I think it might throw you off a little bit. You may be afraid that you don't have time to. That might be part of the issue. So, and you may be someone who really values your alone time and may be afraid to give that up. Watch that, Taurus. Uh, because you have someone who could be wife material coming in, or you are married already and, and things are going to continue go well. Ooh, interference. Yeah. There does seem to be some kind of interference, um, coming in here. Why, why is there interference with communication? High priestess. All right, Taurus, there's a level of, <sighs> Taurus, you've got to be honest about how you feel about people and you can't hold everything in the devil yeah this is starting to look a little bit like the virgo reading so i'm gonna i'm hoping to turn this around now. um i'm gonna give these a good shuffle um it does seem that you holding things back and not being honest about how you feel is causing some interference so um or possible missed opportunities and i would hate that for you so Make sure you communicate. Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Damn right. So you have some past life relationship coming in. Um, a new love of some kind that may also help you or a new job. And it's really good luck. I want you to take advantage. Don't hold back right now. Um, it's not a time for you to like keep things to yourself or not shine, Taurus. It's, it's your time to shine for sure. Three of candles. All right, three of wands is here twice. It's like you've been waiting for this. Good luck to come in. And I think you've had a feeling that it is going to come in. And you have been staying positive. Um, I do think, Taurus, you may have had to let go of a few people along the way. And that may have been hard, too. But fact is, is that, oh, my God, my decks are all mixed up. I don't know how the uh, emperor from the the friggin' Solabuska deck ended up in here. That's crazy. Um, I didn't even notice that the last two readings. All right. Page of, page of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. You are slowly moving towards absolute abundance. You are, you are on your way Taurus. I love this reading. I am so happy about this. Don't hold back how you really feel and don't be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to get into that student position. 
because uh, this is a wonderful reading. You're heading towards your Ten of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. I think you're going to unexpectedly meet somebody new. And that's going to bring in some really good juju for you. Um, and, you know, just let go of any confusion. Let go of the past. Um, you know, evaluate what went wrong in past relationships so you don't do it again. But also don't feel like the past is where it's at for you. It looks like you're going to meet someone totally new and really vibe with this person. And it could totally lead to marriage, Taurus. So be open to it. Whoa. This is causing you some anxiety, though. Indecision. Yeah. I think that some of my Tauruses are stuck on a past person and having a hard time moving past that and afraid to be alone. You might be a little afraid to be alone. And, and so don't let that overtake you. Know that, you know, something new is right there. Your Ten of Pentacles is right there. And, and it's almost like you've got to be able to imagine that in order to make it happen. These, you have a lot of anxiety, Taurus. I can feel it. My cards can feel your, your anxiety. Try and breathe through that. Try and let that go. Um, you know, be okay with being alone for a little bit because the hermit came out a couple times. You've got to like, this time is a time for you to grow and learn exactly what it is that you need and want. I think you learned a lot from these past relationships. Yeah. And it's a time to transmute any negative energy left over from those past relationships because I think it's still affecting you. So continue to do that and know that there is new love ahead and friendship. Um, you may have been hurt by a friend, Taurus, and you had to transmute that energy. Um, or you, in order to bring in new friendships and new relationships, you need to, to remove some, some of this like residual energy from, from all this stuff. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy to let go of the past. It's not easy to get over any feelings of overwhelm or, you know, uh, a lot of my Tauruses may feel like they can fix everything and, Sometimes you've got to like this, let go of the need to be right. Maybe, you know, you needing to surrender to the fact that you can't fix everything and that some things aren't fixable, you know, and that you've got to surrender. I'm getting real surrender energy to what is in order to bring in what you need. Um, it's real interesting. But the, yeah, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. And I, I'm getting that's future energy. Like that's real good. Support is all around you. Angel light. I love this. Yeah. At the moves you're making now are pretty divinely guided. There's some things you still have to let go of. Um, I'm getting forgive. Forgive people because they don't understand how much they hurt other people. And hurt people hurt people. Right? And you don't, you don't want to go then and be that. Ooh, be open to receiving. Yeah. Be open to receiving new love from new people, different people. Um, whether the, that be friendships or new romantic relationships, overcome your fears, tiger's eye. Yeah, Taurus, I think you're afraid to get out there and really put yourself out there and that's okay. Um, take your time, but also don't let anything hold you back right now. Let it go. Make a decision with Lapis and lighten up. Yeah, try not to let the past weigh you down today because the more you let that happen, uh, it's like you're letting it rule you. It's it's, But you can grieve it too. You know, it's not my place to say, just let it go today. That's not what I'm saying. But find the little moments in each day that are still really good, even though, even if you are in pain. Um, and do things that feed your inner child, do things that make you happy. Let's see. Mary Magdalene. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, interesting. I've never gotten one of these. Mary Magdalene, the apostle to the apostles. Yeah, you're a leader, Taurus. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Embrace both sides of yourself. I do think you've got a very strong intuition, Taurus. Let that guide you right now. Okay, it's important that you allow... You allow that. 
Uh, Catherine Labore. Catherine Labore. I've never gotten her before. The patroness of miraculous healing. I am ready to heal. I am worthy of miracles meant for me. Yeah. And I've been suggesting for a lot of my clients that they get Reiki attuned. And I think that's a really good idea for, for a lot of my Tauruses too. Um, I think you're a natural healer. And really embracing that right now and not really paying attention to the rest of the noise of the outside world would be really therapeutic and cathartic for you. Some kind of healing modality. Take it on. I, I, it's, I, I definitely encourage you to try. Uh, Joan of Arc, the warrior of light. I have a still-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. Damn right. It's all about believing in yourself, Taurus, and believing in your ability to bring in the best life possible. You've got the tools. Use them, okay? Um, Taurus, be very proud of the person you are. Don't, don't let fear hold you back. Don't let distortions, because I do think that, you know, you may be giving into some 3D distortions at times. Really try and let go of those, and your Ten of Pentacles is coming in. So just, you know, try and lighten up. Try and find the good in each day. All right, Taurus, I love you. Please take good care.